this government whose policy bias is the growth and wellness of private enterprise, property and property rights, economic freedom, and the rule of law, among others. The exercise by the Bank of Ghana revealed severe challenges with solvency, asset quality, and liquidity. In fact, some of the banks were significantly under-provisioned and suffered capital short shortfalls. To respond to the asset review report, the John Mahama administration offered to use liquidity support without a plan. I want to emphasize that again. The government at the time, under His Excellency, the former president, John Damani Mahama, instead of comprehensively addressing the problem, elected only to throw taxpayers' money at the problem without a plan to address the underlying regulatory deficits and corporate governance malpractices that was at the heart of the problem. The NDC knew about the impending collapse and vulnerabilities of the banks, of the Ghanaian banks, including Unibank, from the updated asset quality review report. They have access to this, and every so often you hear them reference to that, that before they left office, there was this report done before they left. And so the question is, why then are they not speaking to the fact? It is against this background, ladies and gentlemen, that the IMF worked with the NDC to pass the Banks and Specialized Deposit Taking Institutions Act 2016, that is Act 930. Realizing the problem in that 2016 report, the IMF encouraged and worked with the NDC to pass a law that will address the problem. The obvious and impending collapse of the banking sector. 